when we say your god of men are cultist fraternity you will say we should shut up i want you to look at this video i want you to consider the people involved in this issue that i'm about to talk to about i want you to consider them to be your family your brother your sister your uncle your daughter and tell me if they are in the shoes of what i'm about to say how will you feel pastor no one go heaven again you come out your eye for pastor for church money now pastor get them members donate a bulletproof for the pastor and the pastor get attacked by who by your no government this is the case of the video you're about to watch it's concerning your apostle he be like say this now apostle self they do juju because you don't take where i want to do this video that's why they forget over one week every two weeks that's why they forget but today masculine don't open for clothes come out for face welcome to my youtube channel my name is Antia Duni, and my page is real talk with Antia Duni. i want to welcome my new subscribers and if you are yet to subscribe don't forget to subscribe on this channel and don't forget to turn on your notification for my returning subscribers you are the mvp of this channel thank you for staying tuned thank you for all your comments thank you for the contribution to this channel thank you thank you so much yeah, I say, be like, I won't do this video. That's why they forget. That's why they forget. He gets some video, and I say, then they do them. I know go face do that video. I be there, they do juju. I very come on day. Anyway, this video that you're about to watch centers on Apostle Sule and Bishop Oyedepo. Because I saw this video where Apostle Sule was boasting about what. Um, Bishop Oyedepo told him when he had an attack last year, October precisely. We all remember what happened at that time when he was attacked and that was what brought about the song I sang. And, you know, Sule was boasting in that video and he was talking about how Oyedepo called him, how Oyedepo is the only minister and how a lot of Nigerian pastors, big, big ministers of God, know they hear from God. No, we may talk Hamu. Sule is say many pastors in Nigeria, they don't hear from God. They just come out and talk. Wow. They talk from their flesh and their feelings. But my question is, here now Sule, they hear. Make I know what I know talk too much. Let us listen to what Sule is about to say in this video. Papa Kumuyi knows. There are realms they operate. Don't bother. After the assassination attempt, I was to preach in Liberia. My wife said, honey, they're not going anywhere. Stay here first. I had a program in America. I canceled it. I shipped it. Liberia. I was panicking. One night, I'd already got into where I was to take off from the airport. I was, my worry was not attacks or anything. My worry was, what is going on? Who can come to this point? I didn't do business with anybody. I didn't take anything from anybody. I'm not involved in any deal. Nothing. You know, before certain things happen, you will say, maybe there's a deal. There's something you did. You took people's money. Or there's somebody's angry that you took something. Nothing. I used to think you must have done something for people to want your life. I was worried. That night, I prayed and prayed and prayed some minutes to ten. No, some minutes to nine. I didn't hear nothing from the Lord. I prayed and prayed. I didn't hear nothing from the Lord. I just lay down. I said, Father, this library I'm going. Lord, I'm not bothered whether somebody comes from the crowd to shoot me or something. I'm not bothered. I'm ready to sacrifice my life for this gospel. But oh, what is this? I, have, I sense it is coming from this. But I need a proper clarity so that these people cannot deny. No word. And I lay down, almost depressed. I was almost calling my wife, saying, I'm coming back. Let Liberia wait. As I lay back, I slept off. When I opened my eyes, the Lord said, look at your phone. I looked at my phone. There was a missed call. It was Bishop David Oyedepo. And it was getting to 12, midnight. I said, ah, Papa might be sleeping. I just called. One dial, he picked. He said, the Lord go with you.
He said, greater miracles. He said, greater signs. He said, I had a prompting in my spirit to call you. The Lord, I break down in tears. He said, the Lord go with you. And he began to speak words over my life. I went on my knees. I said, Amen, Papa. Amen, Papa. Amen, Papa. He said, God bless you. I went on the phone. This is what I was praying and I didn't hear nothing from. Listen, 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 listen. Ah, listen. Bishop Oyedipo, no. The love I saw from Bishop Oyedipo when I was attacked, I didn't see it from any minister in Nigeria. He didn't have my number. He sent me his number. He said, you should give it to me. People were calling me, Bishop Abiyoko, I know Bishop Abiyoko's number. We're call and he began to pray for me. The next day he called me again. Such a man, who am I? Called me again. He said, they will not succeed. He said, they can't quench that light. Tears came out of my eyes. When you see men prosper, the principle of love is a motivating factor. Many ministers who I thought would call me never called me. In fact, some who called me said, well, God knows the truth. The truth will come out. That's what a known minister in this country told me. As far as I was concerned, this thing that happened to you, who even knows? You know, because many, who know whether you are the one? Who knows if you offended somebody? I was ashamed. Can I say this? There are many ministers with big names who don't hear God, though. With all due respect to them. Three times. And the Lord said to me, I'm teaching you what you should learn. And I told him, I said, sir, with all due respect, I'm shocked. Sure, you don't hear. You hear waiting, you are supposed to talk. Let's take it one by one. He said he panicked. So men of God, they panic. You know the meaning of panic? He fear, he was afraid. This was shortly after his attack. When he, after he was attacked, he said he needed to go to Liberia and, and I think one other place to do a go and do a program. And he began to get afraid. So man of God, he fear. He panicked, number one. Number two, he couldn't see why he was attacked. So... I thought they see everything, they know everything, and they know her. But he told us in that in this video we just watched now that he did not see re any um, why he was attacked. That means he is limited. These are the people that will tell you God says, God says. Number three, he said he is ready to sacrifice his life for the gospel. But he was using a bulletproof car on that day. Remember. Out, out of everybody, out of all the vehicle that was attacked, it was only his car that the people inside went, I mean, came out alive. The rest, seven people, including one small Peking, a young, very young girl, by in that incident. Another point he made, he said, Bishop Oyedepo called him and said, the Lord will go with you. So with all his power, he needed somebody to still reassure him that don't worry, that attack, that one, don't work out, go, just go. He still needed that. Please take all the points too, and tell me if they are different from you. If the what he's feeling is different from what you will feel when you just face an attack. Now he also said Bishop Oyedeko showed him love when he was attacked. That is the only one among all the pastors in Nigeria who showed him 
love. He now said another thing very important. He said, when, mon when rich men prosper, the principle of love is a motivating factor. In other words, poor man, how they relate with rich man. It's only rich men plus rich people, rich men and rich men, that can, where you can find love. And we have poor people who will say, yes, yeah, right on, my papa. My papa, you are the best. My papa, I love you. Papa say, now only day for where rich people day, you feel see love. He say, where are your poor people day? Love no the day, dear. No be me talk. Oh. He said, when rich men prosper, the principle of love is a motivating factor. He said, when rich men prosper, that is easy. That is the motivating factor. Eh? Love, the principle of love. Is a motivating factor. Now, there's a be where they coin all their words together. Anyway, he went further and said, Many missing stars didn't call him in Nigeria. <laughs> so there is no love between all of them. <laughs> Abi, where there is love, where there is no envy, where you are one, in other words, they are not one. You are the one who think the body of Christ is one. In Nigeria, I don't know of any other place. In Nigeria, the body of Christ has been cut into pieces. One person take leg, another person take leg, and another person, person take head, another person take eyes, another person take tongue, one take the teeth, one take the nail, one take the... What did they take again? Neck. No wonder they always say different things. <laughs> no, we may talk. Oh. So no wonder they talk, say different things. And he now said something very shocking. He said many big ministers of God in Nigeria know they hear shishi. He said they know they hear anything. Now, from all the points, now only two, they important to me. All the rest, I know care. Only two or three. The first one where he said um, he is ready to sacrifice his life, not so important. Where he said Bishop Oyedeko called him. And lastly, where he said many ministers of God do not hear from God. Before I go on, let me talk on the Bishop Uyedeko's call to him when he was attacked. Hmm. So Bishop Uyedeko could show him so much love when he was attacked to call him, to check up on him. Did Bishop Oyedepo ask him a question? Did Bishop Oyedepo try in his own little way to do some findings concerning who attacked Sule? And let us watch this video. This is where my question is coming out from. There are certain things that have been happening that I've been quiet about. Even if you are the most careless person on earth, you will not give yourself to so much scandals. There are things people don't know, even though one or two people along the line took advantage of that to just come out and say one or two things. But the reason I'm coming out to speak now is because they've done all that and discovered that I'm still moving on, they decided to make attempts on my life. I just escaped an assassination attempt where seven people were killed. My car was attacked, opened fire on my car, and kept spraying it with bullets. My wife and my kids were there. The escort car with some police, they killed the policeman, they killed the other people. The other escort car, the buses with us, seven people. We are all moving the convoy. We are killed. People who did this are expecting me to come out, mention their names, so they will come out and deny. I won't do that. But the truth of the matter is this. You can't kill me. My life is in the hand of God. I'm a man of God. And those who are among those attacking me, you are building on what you don't understand. You may have joined into the fora because you want to... This video you just watched... Sule said he knows the people that attacked him. October, November, December, January, February, March, April. Six months now. We don't hear any news again. Despite the fact that Sule said he knows the people that attacked him. So Bishop Oyedepo that could not come out to call for justice for the lost lives. Bishop Oyedeko that could not come out to condemn and call on the government, use his status, use his position to call 
for investigation into the people that did the job. Since that incident, we have not had anything. Not from Sule, not from police, not from government, not from other pastors. And Sule comes out bragging. And if you listen to the video, I blame the mumus under these people. They are not thinking of the people. Seven people, including a young girl who died during that incident. They couldn't ask questions. That, so those people have just died like that. Have the culprits been arrested? Are they being prosecuted? Nobody's telling us anything. This is what you will not find in the same country. Every details, they will make it public. Every arrest, every prosecution. Other pastors will stand up in this country and talk against that thing, condemn it, and calls for thorough investigation and prosecution of the culprits. But in our own case, because the people that died are common men, the policemen watching over him, his um, aides in the house, personal aides, including somebody's daughter, a young girl of less than 20-something involved in this that attack. Bishop Uyedeko could call, but they could not call they could not call on the government. All of them could not use their power. Put one voice together and say, whoever has done this, to take seven people away, something has to be done. And now you come and tell me these people have the fear of God. Nobody has seen God. And you say they are doing good thing. When something concerns them, they turn a blind eyes. Talk about Titan offering. All of them will have one voice. Seven souls. And Sule still have the guts to come out bragging about this incident. Where is the conscience of your pastors? Where is the milk of humanity in them? Where is the milk of parenting in them? Those people are somebody's family, somebody's child, somebody's brother, somebody's sister, somebody's husband, somebody's uncle, somebody's father, somebody's mommy. And they went like that. And since then, and Pastor Yedipo can call him to ask him, go, the Lord be with you. Don't be afraid. Hmm. He said, there are many, many big ministers of the gospel, the of God in that country, who do not hear from God. And yet, they are staying on the path of truth. And he cannot mention, even him, is he hearing from God? Who among them? All of them are just speaking from their mind. They are speaking their hallucination. They are speaking their paranoid. They are speaking their... Uh, uh, Alzheimer. They are speaking their colo to people. None of them. He that is castigating that there are no God ministers of God in Nigeria that is hearing from God. Is it him that is doing miracle money that is hearing from God? Is it him that is using bulletproof car and still boasting that I'm ready to die for the gospel? I am ready to die for the gospel. I am ready to die for the gospel. I am ready to sacrifice my life for the gospel. And you are using bulletproof. Ah, 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 ah. You are not ready. If you are ready, go to Zambiza Forest. Go to Boko Haram and go and preach to them. If you are ready, go to Ukraine, where there is war. Go to Russia and go and preach to them to stop the war. That is how to know you are ready to sacrifice. You are using bulletproof car. You are using police escort up and down. You are using a gated house. And you say you are ready. You cannot 
talk. I did vex. Especially seeing that Uyedepo called him. And Uyedepo could not call to call for inquiries, investigations concerning the people they were by. It's so sad that we found ourselves in that country where people do anything and everything. Somebody came out. I say, I know the people. And yet, we have not seen, he has not mentioned the people. He has not said anything about the people again. Or that he will be boasting that he cannot do him anything. He wants to go and preach. And people were shouting and screaming and clapping. How, how do we lose our senses and, and, and based our logic on sentiments by a word that one man is speaking to hype you? And you say you are getting hyped. You are not even asking questions. Hmm. I don't know if I'm making sense. I don't know what to think about this video. This thing has brought a flashback concerning what happened on that day in October. Concerning those people. It's so sad. That people who are supposed to speak for the truth. They are hiding behind religion. And covering the truth. They are covering justice. They are covering equality. It's so sad. Thanks for watching.